They say familiarity breeds contempt. So does that mean if the candidates keep addressing one another by their first names, the presidential race could get even nastier? Jeannie Mose takes a look. Live from the WJLA Broadcast Center, this is Good Morning Washington Saturday on your side. Good morning, Washington. It's 6.30 on this Saturday morning. I'm Pamela Brown. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Let's begin this half hour with a quick look at the forecast. Dave Zarin joins us now live in the Weather Center. Dave, it's shaping up to be another frigid day out there. Time now for a check on some of the stories coming up at 7 on Good Morning America. Let's go live to Times Square where Kate Snow has our preview. Hi, Kate. Good to see you. Okay, thanks, Kate. And I'm sorry to hear about your traveling nightmare. That sounds well, horrible. Well, at least I could get into Washington. That's you know? true. That at least the good you're news. there. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you, Kate. This is ABC 7's Good Morning Washington Saturday on your side. Welcome back to Good Morning Washington at 644. Let's take a look at some of this morning's top stories. A winter weather advisory is in effect for most of the area until 9 a.m. This winter, avalanches are becoming a growing danger. 32 people have been killed in avalanches already this season. That's a near record high. Elite search and rescue teams are helping to keep that number from being higher. Neil Karlinski takes a look at one very special team. And Adam's back to look at the weather. That's right. Good news you mentioned earlier. We're having yeah. some warmer temperatures heading our way. I hinted at it, and I know you're excited for I that for sure. I am so <laughs> ready for some warmer temperatures. Well, can presidential candidates find access to millions of potential supporters in the gossip pages of a magazine? Jeannie Mose takes a look at what she now calls a new frontier in presidential campaigning. If you're looking to get a good deal on a new home, today could be your day. Today is supposed to be the last day of Virginia's legislative session, but a stalemate over the budget could make it go longer. Area police are stepping up patrols this weekend, cracking down on drunk drivers. Arlington police are planning to set up sobriety checkpoints around the county ahead of St. Patrick's Day. Maryland's Court of Appeals will not hear convicted sniper John Allen Muhammad's request for a new trial. And March Madness has finally come to American University. For the first time in school history, the men's basketball team has won its way into the NCAA tournament by capturing the Patriot League tournament title. Good morning, Washington. It's Saturday, March 22nd. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'm Pamela Brown. We'll get to the morning's top stories in a moment, but first a quick check of the Saturday forecast. It's been a long night for thousands of people in front of the White House, but this morning they finally get a big payoff. Tickets to the annual White House Easter egg roll. Brian Carter is standing by live at the Ellipse with more. Good morning, Brianne. Cherry blossoms aren't the only thing you'll see around the National Mall this weekend. It's also time for the Smithsonian's annual Kite Festival. And this morning, we have some astounding facts about our everyday lives and how our habits leave a mark on the planet. It's a snapshot of what the average American consumes and tosses out in a lifetime. Elizabeth Bar Vargas has a story. Well, now let's turn our attention to sports here. The Capitals go up against the Philadelphia Flyers in the playoff opener, and the Wizards take on the Pistons. Greg Tolan has your Saturday morning sports highlights. And good morning to you, Washington. It's Saturday, April 26th. I'm Pamela Brown. Thank you so much for waking up with us. We're following a developing story out of Northeast Washington this morning. Another person has been shot and killed in the city's 5th Police District. This latest murder marks the 8th killing in the area in just 11 days. An investigation is underway into what caused a truck driver to plow into a Chicago train station at the height of rush hour. Well, family and friends say that there is not enough evidence to build this case on, but we do know that has been in trouble with the law before. This time around, he faces six charges for both of those shootings involving 2002 and 2003. If found guilty, he faces up to life in prison. Reporting live at D.C. Superior Court, Pamela Brown, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Pamela. And that's all now for ABC 7 News at 5. What's well, the country's biggest outbreak of measles since 2001, and health officials worry it could get much worse. 64 cases have already been reported just this year. That's a pretty large number for a disease that's been virtually eradicated in the U.S. ABC's John McKenzie tells us what's behind the resurgence. Lots going on today. We yep. also have Gold Cup. Mm -hmm. Big deal. Shaping up to you be a nice day. You wear a fancy day. big hat. Not a fancy big hat. I wear that to Derby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and welcome back to Good Morning Washington at 645. Time now for a look at some of this morning's top stories. The Human Rights Commission will hold a public hearing today to listen to a wrongful termination case. An Alexandria man says he was fired from his job because he told his boss he was HIV positive. Stephen Cheetah has a story. 
Tiger Woods is just one behind the leader after a banner day at the U.S. Open at Torrey Pines. Plus, Redskins head coach Jim Zorn talks about his quarterback's reaction to the new West Coast offense. It's all coming up in sports. Here's Tim Brandt. That's yeah. it for Good Morning Washington Saturday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.